Brent, this is a growing issue. Domestic violence incidents on the rise in Connecticut and in particular cases with repeat offenders. State data showing in the last two years, violations of restraining and protective orders jumped 81%. Advocates saying now is a critical time to pass legislation like this. We're only serving the tip of the iceberg, in my opinion. It's a public health crisis. It's a public health issue. An issue Connecticut legislators say they're trying to resolve. It's a bill aimed at uh, trying to go after the unfortunate scourge we've seen of uh, domestic violence. Maroney is one of the lawmakers sponsoring a bill this session to increase protections for domestic violence survivors. The proposal would expand a pilot program of GPS monitoring of violent offenders. It will give a little bit of a sense of safety back to the victims of domestic violence so they can hopefully regain some sense of peace while they're at home. And prevent people convicted of certain domestic violent crimes from collecting any alimony from their former spouse. This is not adding insult to injury. We're removing that provision that somebody who had violated protective orders have, have conducted violence against victims should not ever be rewarded for anything. This bill also increases funding for victim services, something advocates say is much needed. They are not just dealing with their safety, but they're dealing with trying to find housing, employment, child care, um, and other issues that obviously create barriers um, when um, trying to keep yourself and your family members safe. Tuesday, this proposal passed unanimously out of the Senate. We see you, we hear you, we believe you, most importantly, and that hopefully this will provide a little sense of security. We need to continue raising awareness. We need to educate in our schools, in our colleges, in our social fabric that, that partnership violence is never allowed, and, and there's just no tolerance for it. This bill now heads to the House. Maroney and Wong telling me with bipartisan support in the Senate, they're hoping and expecting the same from their colleagues in the House. If this bill passes, it would go into effect July 1st. Jen Brent.